What's up, YouTube? Uh, I've been make, meaning to create this video for a couple days now. Um, but my brother had my generator, so just figured since I'm out here at the lake today, hanging out with Coda, I'd create, uh, you know, I'd upload this video. So about a month ago, I bought this uh, dual fuel 3400 watt champion generator. Uh, normally I have it mounted back here on the bumper um, with the uh, generator mounted bumper strut contraption thing that I bought off Amazon um, that you can see at the bottom of this post. Um, I bought it for like $150, $180. It's perfect. It's absolutely wonderful actually um, because having it mounted back here, the generator noise or sound has to go through this wall right here and I have a second wall right here for the bathroom, so I'd have to go through like two walls for that rumbling noise to make it in there, so you barely even hear it. Um, I mean, right now it's on right now, and I mean, if you can hear it, power to you, you know, but uh, it's super quiet. If you were in an RV park right now, I mean, most RVs, they're pretty cramped in there. Um, and right now, like, I don't have a box on this. I don't have an RV muffler on that. I mean, both of those are super easy to make or really cheap to pick up off of Amazon. I mean, I think you can buy an RV muffler for, or a generator muffler for, you know, less than a hundred bucks. You can make a generator box for, you know, the cost of wood and an hour's worth of labor. Um, but right now, because I'm lazy, I'm just running this with an adapter I had for the old generators and an extension cord. And I'm just, you know, it's sitting in the back of my truck. It's hooked or you know, secured in there with a bike lock. But uh, right now it's on efficient mode. I'm all of like 10 feet away. That's how loud it is on efficient mode. And efficient mode is still powerful enough to run the air conditioner, the microwave, the refrigerator, and you can run all three of them at the same time. You don't have to turn off one to run the other or vice versa. Um, you can run off of propane. It can run off of gas. You can run off of natural gas. To run off natural gas, though, you got to buy a $15 adapter. Um, that adapter you can buy off of Amazon or directly from Champion's website. My plan, or for the whole reason why I bought this, was uh, I w wanted to make an onboard generator. Um, and I wanted to run it off of propane for the upcoming ski season. So basically my plan was to call the propane company, have them drop off a 500 pound tank, um, hook up the RV or the travel trailer and the generator and never have to fill up again for the entire ski season. And that was my plan. So. Um, it says on their website that you can run up to 8 hours off of gasoline and you can run up to 14 hours off of propane. I don't remember what it says off natural gas. Um, I'm guessing since it's a constant source, it's just never ending. But uh, uh, but I started this generator at 9 o'clock, 9.30 last night. It's now 10, 10.30, 11 o'clock in the morning. So it's been at least 13 hours now and it's still going. Uh, so And that's normal. I'm getting about 12 to 14 hours somewhere in there off of uh, one tank of gas, which I think is... 1.6 gallons maybe it's, it's not two gallons but it's more than a gallon so i'm getting about 12 or 13 hours runtime on there so it's heavy duty construction it's powerful enough to run your ac your refrigerator and your microwave and all your other electronics and it's super quiet i mean right now i'm literally five feet away from this thing um but let's go up and look at the uh control panel um take a look at all that it's gonna be a little bit louder because you know we're close to the truck now and you got the walls of the truck kind of bouncing and echoing around but this is efficient mode, still powerful enough. I mean, look at this gas cap right here. I mean, that's built tough. That's a gas cap. Like this isn't some cheap Chinese $100 generator that you can buy, you know, and uh, two months later it's gonna blow up on you because it's poor quality, poor craftsmanship. This is heavy duty construction. It's made for RV life. It's made for camping. It's made for the outdoors. I mean, I don't treat my gear nice at all. I mean, I buy stuff to use it and I use it for the intended reason it was made for, designed for, and if it breaks, I get pissed. So this, I mean, I haven't even brought it indoors in the last 30 days, and it's rained, it's snowed, I've been up in elevation, it's been hot and sunny, it's been foggy, I mean, it's seen every weather condition possible in the last 30 days, and it's still running. So I have no reservations about using this for ski season. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the control panel here. This is the propane option right here. Uh, a little quick connect. Oh, if you lift that up, then it tries to die because it thinks it needs propane. So there's like a little switch there, right? But that's the little uh, quick connect for propane. This is the choke. This is the electric on-on start. This is normal mode. Obviously, it gets a little bit louder. Uh, we'll put that back down in quiet mode. This is the uh, oil light indicator letting you know if you're good or bad. This is a pre-wired 30 amp uh, RV connector. This is your electrical on off switch. You have to leave that on. Um, I found out the other day, if you don't leave that on, it doesn't charge the battery. Um, 
and you need battery to char uh, turn it on in gasoline mode because there's a fuel solenoid that needs uh, power to open up to send fuel to the unit. Um, you don't need power to run it off of propane, but if you want to run it off of gasoline, you do need some type of battery power. So you need to leave this on when it's running to charge the battery. Otherwise, you're going to have to jumpstart the battery or find a different power source, which I, you know, that was something new to me. I didn't know generators, you know, I just figured it worked like your car. You know, you turn it on, the alternator charges the battery. You don't got to flip a little switch, but in this case you do. Um, kind of quirky, but that's how they designed it. For some reason, the electrical engineers thought that was the best idea. I don't know if I agree with them, but uh, that's their protocol and their logistics. Uh, two inline amps, you're hunting 20 volts. This guy right here is a 12 volt, um, and it came with it. Um, this little guy right here, so if you need to charge your anything off of USB, your cell phones or anything like that, you can just plug this guy right in there. And again, this came right with it, so you didn't have to buy it extra or anything like that. Um, and again, I've left this outside in the rain, the snow, the cold, and the heat. All these little plug-ins or outlets right here have all been exposed to the elements. They are all still working. Um, and granted, it's only been 30 days, so we'll see. But right now, I'm a big fan of this. This is your parallel outlets right here. Um, if you wanted to hook it up in a parallel series, which I had to do with my Ryobis to make the to power up the the rig. Um, but this guy right here has enough power to do everything I want. It's super quiet. Um, and it only weighs like 40, 50 pounds. I don't know exactly, but I know the website says it's under 100 pounds. Um, but again, I am five feet away, and that's how loud it is. So super powerful. You get long run time, heavy-duty construction. Um, it's less than $1,000. Phone support is amazing. I, I didn't even, you know, I thought companies that had this type of customer support were extinct, you know, decades ago. But the other day when my battery died and couldn't figure out why it wasn't starting, I called them up. And they didn't have my name, they didn't have my phone number, they didn't even have my model number, they didn't even have my email address. And they offered to send me a brand new replacement battery free of charge. All I had to do was give them my, uh, my address, name, and you know, they sent, shipped it out. And uh, you know, I'm still waiting for it to get here because I ordered it on a Friday or whatnot. But I just jumped the battery myself with the jumper cables in the truck and turned it back on. But Apparently there's a new battery on its way. So super supportive, really friendly. They've even got a technical support team. So if you are having problems trying to hook up your propane or your natural gas adapters and getting it working like that, they've got a team of technicians waiting by the phone to answer all your questions and walk you through step by step, free of charge. It's not like Dell where they charge you know, $100 to teach you how to log into your computer or whatever. I mean, it's free of charge. So really, really supportive big fan of this company and as you can see on my website i don't post any type of product reviews i'm not getting paid by these people i purchased this with my own money i'm using it on a daily basis and this is my findings of this product um so if you're looking for a generator that's super quiet that can power your your rv and your rig all your electronics including your air conditioner this is my go-to um I had a remote start plugged into or wired into it by a friend. I mean, he installed some expensive Viper remote car starting kit thing onto it that he had lying around, so he did it for free for me. But I left it in the comments that uh, a guy emailed me the other day um, on how he installed a, a wireless remote start to his generator, and it only cost him $15. You can find that one way remote start on Amazon, and I left it again, I left a link in the comments below. Um, it's two wires negative and po uh, positive so you can't screw it up super easy um, and just leave this in the on position and you have a remote wireless start to turn this on or off from up to you know I don't even know 100 feet 200 feet mine's up to a mile but again that's an expensive remote start that you don't need so yeah take a look in the comments leave some comments below if you have any questions I'll try and answer them um, again this is efficient mode this is the champion 3400 dual fuel RV ready inverter generator thing. Um, it costs like $850, $900. And this is how quiet it is from five feet away. So again, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below.